Hey, welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna talk about GPT for All 2. And this is the brand new version of GPT for All, which was one of the original local LLMs that you can run on any machine. Just four gigabytes is all you needed and any consumer computer mostly could use it. But now we have a new and improved version ready to go. The company behind GPT for All, Nomic AI, has made a number of improvements to it. So let's go over those improvements, then I'm gonna show you how to install it, and then we're gonna do a demo. Let's get into it. So the previous version of GPT for All was based on the Llama model. So a lot of people didn't know that the license for Llama did not allow for using it commercially, even though a lot of people did. This new version is based on a model called GPTJ from a company called Eleuther AI. And now you can use it commercially, which is awesome. So the team from Nomic AI completely retrained GPT for All based on the GPTJ model, and now you can use it commercially. GPT for All was already one of the best, if not the best, local models. It was fast, it was smart, and it was pretty comparable to GPT. 3.5 by OpenAI. And the GPTJ model is just as good, if not better. And they've made the process of installation a thousand times easier, wrapping it in an installation package, making it essentially one click. Not only that, but they have a really beautiful interface that you can use now and one click updates to the app. So they've really made it end user friendly for people who aren't super technical, which I really appreciate. The last thing that I'll mention before we actually get into the installation is that you can soon provide Nomic AI with your data as you're using GPT for All, this new version. And what that'll do is that'll give them a ton of training data for subsequent models. And this is gonna be really important for having GPT for All and other local LLMs get on par with OpenAI's models. So I'm really excited about that. I'm definitely gonna be sharing my data with them. And with that, let's get into the installation. So the installation really couldn't be easier now. It's one link, you download the installation package, and once you open it up, it's going to download the model, install all the files, the interface, and everything you need. Let me show you that now. So let's download the installation package. I'm using a Mac, so I'm gonna use the Mac installation and we're gonna download it. Now you may get a warning from Chrome that this file may be malicious. Feel free to send it to Google for them to scan it before actually opening it. Now I've already done that, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it now. Here's the install file. Go ahead and double click. Now if you try to just double click it and open it, you're gonna get a warning on a Mac that this is an unverified developer. So you can go ahead and click cancel. Now to get past this, you're gonna right click on it and click open, and then open. So this is it, this is the installer. We're gonna click next, and then we're gonna choose our installation directory. I'm gonna put it in applications, click next again, and select components. The only thing in there is the chat, so I'm gonna click next, I accept the license, next, install. And so now it's gonna download the models, it's gonna download all the other files necessary to run this. So let's let it run for a few minutes, and I'll come back. Okay, so we're finished. So we click finish, and now we're gonna open up the applications folder and go to the GPT for all chat folder. Within there, open up the bin folder, and there's this little file called chat. Double click on it, and there it is, we're all done. Here's the interface. Uh, it's beautiful, it's simple, it looks mobile friendly, and it's based on GPT-J. Write Python code that outputs all prime numbers from 1 to 1,000. So it's interesting, at the beginning it says, as an AI language model, I don't have the capability to write Python code, and then it goes on to write Python code. So I've actually tested this before, and it didn't say that, and it just output the code. So that's very interesting. Now I haven't tested this code, but it does from looking at it seem correct. Uh, and then it explains what the code does at the end. So let's try something else. Who is Michael Jordan? And it seems to be really fast. I'm on a MacBook Air M2, so it's a pretty modern computer. But uh, yeah, it seems very, very fast. Let's try another one. 
What are transformers and why are they important, important to AI? Transformers in AI are essential components that allow a neural network to learn and improve. They are used to adjust the weights and biases of the network during training, etc., etc. So that's it. Congratulations to the Nomic AI team for shipping this. This will make adopting local models that you can install on any edge device really, really easy. I've seen examples of installations on really, really interesting devices like TI-84 graphing calculators and Nintendo Switches. So this is just gonna make everything even easier. Congratulations to the Nomic AI team. If you like this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.